going to do a video on how to build this chimney box. We're going to build it all on the ground. Uh, you can pre-build this whole thing. So what we know already, this here dimension is 5 feet. So I'll cut this piece and we'll cut this these angles on it. We know they're 10, 12. So I'll be able to cut all this stuff. The key is I'll cut these two panels, this front side and the back side. And these here, this here edge will give me my length of my studs. And then I can pre-cut all the studs as well. Okay, the first thing you do is obviously get your four by eight sheets of plywood. We're gonna make it four feet tall. We're gonna make the box part four feet tall. So if we have one side that's five feet, one side that's three feet, we actually get to use a eight foot sheet perfectly. You'll notice I have uh, the rough side facing each other. So now when I cut everything, it'll mirror perfectly. So five feet is the width of the box. It's a 10, 12. So half of five feet is two foot six. And every foot I go over, I go up 10 inches because it's a 10, 12 root. So two feet, is 20 inches up, half a foot is five inches up. So 25 inches up in the middle. So we'll mark the five feet. We'll mark two foot six. Snap lines. If you remember the width, the width was three feet. We're gonna take three eighths of an inch off on either side for the three eighths plywood. So that means we're cutting the sides at 35 and a quarter. So this will be the sides, this will be the, the faces. Yeah. So again, we come up 20, 25 inches. Put a line right there. Put a two inch in. Make sure your sheets are flush. Set your saw to cut only the depth required. I do have scrap underneath, so I can be a little bit overkill. sides now. I don't know what you want to do is on what on both of the side panels you want to put a bevel cut on the plywood. So a 1012 is about 42 degrees. Your 
top plate is going to be 60 inches less 3 quarters, so 59 and a quarter. You can do the measurement here too. So we're coming in 3 eighths. We're going to take off the bottom plate here. So inch and a half. Come in 3 eighths. Take an inch and a half off here. So we're 45 and 5 for 44 and an eighth. So this stud is 44 and an eighth. Same with this one. And then, of course, now if we come in two feet, we take 20 inches off 44 and an eighth, so we're 24 and an eighth. Uh, bottom plate here is there's my 3 eighths mark there. Come up to right here, we are 38 and 5 eighths. This should be the same. Coming in three eighths. That's thirty-eight and a half. Okay, let's make these guys thirty-eight and a half. Less is a little bit better. Thirty-eight and a half. And they're gonna have uh, bevel cuts on them, and they're gonna be. So I'm gonna set the table of the saw at forty-two. Long to short. So I'll cut four at thirty-eight and a half. All right, now we need the two top plates, 59 and a quarter. Fifty-nine and a quarter, one hundred, one hundred and eighteen and a half, and nine sixteenths. Or sorry, sixteen. One eighteen and nine sixteenths. Lay these two out. Because we went two feet, everything's on the math's done off two feet. Now we'll nail all the studs together. We'll nail them to the top plate, top plate first, and then we'll nail to the bottom plate. We have to be careful doing that because we need everything to fit properly, I guess. the sheeting to the studs. Keep in mind we want 3 8 of an inch gap here, or 3 8 overhanging for the side panels.
All right, the sidewalls. So we're gonna have the panels we already built. We need to take four inches off either side for the width of the wall. I'm trying to find out the length of my plates. So we're gonna come in four inches. It's technically three and seven eighths, but we're gonna go four. So I need four plates at 27 and a quarter. Okay, now this plate is gonna be on an angle roof roof line. So I'm going to come up here inch and five eighths. And I'm going to come down inch and a half here for my top plate. And this, I need one stud. I need one stud cut at, we'll call it 44 and a quarter. 44 and a quarter. That should be a little light. 44 and a quarter to the long of a 10 12. Alright, so we'll nail the uh, one stud to the two plates. And that's how that should look. inches All right, we'll temporarily put tack this together just to show how it looks on the floor here. All right, now we'll do the top. All right, so now we're gonna put a lid on top of this. So I'm gonna use a piece of three quarter inch plywood on top of this. It's going to definitely stiffen the whole structure and when it gets nailed together. I will cut basically a lot of the middle out so the chimney pipe can come through. And so that it's a bit lighter. So, cut the lid. 